Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox Quantum, which was released on November 14, 2017. As Mozilla describes it, it's new, fast and fierce. Mozilla has released six major Firefox browser updates in 2017, and Firefox 57 aka Firefox Quantum is the latest browser update in 2017. Firefox Quantum is twice as fast as compared to Firefox about a year ago. This is based on tests run by Mozilla using Speedometer 2.0 Benchmark. I've been running my own Firefox Browsermark Benchmark tests, and the results have been pretty impressive since Mozilla announced Project Electrolysis, which I will talk about in a moment. Back in October 2016, Mozilla announced Project Quantum, one of their biggest efforts to create the next generation web engine by leveraging modern hardware and by taking advantage of multiple CPU cores. The main goal was to strike the right balance between browser speed and memory usage. Project Quantum has many components, but Project Electrolysis or E10S laid the foundation for Project Quantum. E10S is multi-process architecture, which essentially splits up the browser into multiple processes in order to improve responsiveness stability and security of the browser. The other components of Project Quantum include Quantum Compositor, Quantum DOM, Quantum CSS, Quantum Render, and Quantum Flow. Now I'm not going to get too technical about this, but I will be creating another video to cover the details of Project Quantum. In terms of the user interface, Firefox Quantum comes with a major visual redesign. Thanks to Project Photon, which is Mozilla's approach to designing and building a modern and intuitive UI, it has a minimalistic design with square tabs and smooth animations, and a new library icon which provides quick access to bookmarks, pocket, history, downloads, tabs, and screenshots. The Firefox menu has also changed a bit. You will notice the large icons have been replaced with smaller icons. Also, if I go to the Customize area, you will notice a few changes here. In the Themes section down below, you will also find Light and Dark themes. And under Density, you will find options to change the theme density. When you visit a website, you will notice these icons in the address bar. And the icons with the three dots will give you several options like bookmarking, taking screenshots, etc. Talking about Firefox screenshots, it launched in Firefox 55, and you can check my tutorial to learn more about it. In Firefox Quantum, Mozilla has moved from Firefox add-ons to web extensions, which means that Firefox 57 does not support legacy add-ons anymore. If you use any legacy add-ons, they will be disabled and you'll have to find a replacement. In your Firefox preferences, under Privacy and Security, you will find some new permissions to give you control over your location, camera, microphone, and notifications. Well, these were the key changes in Firefox Quantum, but you can check the release notes for a detailed list of changes and improvements. You'll find a link in the description section. Here again are the Browsermark Benchmark test results. Like I mentioned earlier, in 2017, Mozilla made a lot of progress in Firefox. And we can expect to see more performance improvements in 2018. Though for now, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.